Okay, we're at uh, section 24.3, electric potential and potential energy due to point charges. Let me dismiss my image and we'll get started here. The two shaded dash circles represent intersections of spherical equal potential surfaces with the page. Now, um, I think it, it, images are coming up, but you, the equal potential surfaces are always um, perpendicular to the electric field. So the electric field are uh, radial points going out in this direction. Um, and the equipotential surfaces are perpendicular to the uh, electric field lines. So uh, 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 VB minus VA is equal to the minus integral from A to B of uh, E dot DS. Um, and E is equal to uh, KE Q over R squared uh, in the R direction. Um, so E dot DS is equal to KE Q R squared R dot DS. Um, and so R dot DS is equal to DS uh, cosine theta since you know R is the uh, unit vector. So it's one. So it's equal to DS cosine theta. Uh, so ds cosine theta is a is little dr. If you see this, uh, ds is the projection of uh, the. If you look at the projection of ds onto r, you'll see there's a little dr here. So ds cosine theta is equal to dr. Um, so e dot ds is equal to ke q over r squared dr. Um, the uh, so VB minus VA is equal to minus K Q integral from RA to RB of D R over R squared, which is equal to K E um, Q over R evaluated from RA to RB. So VB minus VA is equal to K E Q uh, one over RB minus one over RA. Um, it's customary to take uh, VA equals zero at RA e equal to um, infinity. So when it's uh, uh, the, the point charge to be um, at infinity, that then uh, V A is equal to zero. Uh, let's see. So V is equal to K E uh, K E times Q divided by R. Uh, so here's the, to um, to different point charges. V is equal to Ke times, when you have multiple point charges, it's just a superposition um, problem. It becomes a superposition problem. So V equals Ke times the sum uh, over all the i's of Qi over Ri. Um, the, uh, ex the external work is equal to Q2 um, times delta V. So let's read the boxes here. Potential Keq one over R12 exists at point P due to charge Q1. So there is a potential here, and it's only due to this one. The potential energy of the pair of charges is given by uh, Ke Q1 Q2 over uh, R12, and where R12 is the distance between them. Okay, uh, the change in electric potential is equal to the, um, ex the external work, which is equal to Q2 Delta V, and that's uh, mu E minus zero, we're taking the reference point to be zero, is equal to KQ, I'm, I'm Q, I said KQ, it's Q2 uh, times KE, Q1 over uh, one R2 minus zero. So the electric potential is equal to KE, Q1 over Q2 over uh, R12. Uh, and this is similar, let me see, uh, let me look at my notes. Um, I think they liken it to the uh, gravitational potential. Um, it, it's different than, uh, you know, there's no R squared, it's just one over R, uh, but um, it's similar to the gravitational potential. I, my, I'm messing up my notes here, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, but 
Okay, so the so if you have multiple uh, charges, you we here we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. Uh, it's just uh, the electric potential is just the superposition sum, Ke times Q1, Q2 over R12 plus Q1, Q3 over R13 plus Q2, Q3 over R23. Uh, okay, so let's look um, a little uh, quick quiz. We in the figure take Q2 to be a negative source charge and Q1 to be a second uh, charge whose sign can be changed. If Q1 is initially positive and is changed to a cha is changed to a charge of the same magnitude but negative, what happens to the potential at the position of Q1 due to Q2? Okay, the um, the uh, it remains the same because the um, the um, the potential at position Q1 uh, due to Q2 is only from the source. So that whether it, it's positive or negative, the potential is the same from Q2. So it remains the same. Uh, now, in the figure, uh, same figure, when Q1 is changed from positive to negative, what happens to the potential energy of the two uh, charge system? Well, uh, it increases because uh, uh, Ke Q1 Q2 over R, that's a negative value because uh, Q2 is negative and Q1 is positive. Now, if we uh, make Q1 uh, negative, you have a negative times a negative, that's positive. So it becomes positive. Uh, the value becomes positive. So it increases. Okay. And that's the end of section 24.3.